Hi friends, my name is Christina Gonzalez. My pronouns are she and her. I'm recording today from Seattle, Washington, where I live and work on the unceded lands of the Coastal Salish people, specifically the Duwamish. It is my honor to serve as Director of Innovation for an Inclusive Church with the Greater Northwest Area of our United Methodist Church. I've served under many different titles during my 20 plus years in conference leadership, but all centered in intercultural competency. It is because of this work that I'm invited to speak with you today. I've been a support person in a complaint process only once, but I learned a great deal about our system in the course of that work. First, let me say that I was honored to be invited to be in the role of a support person. It is such a position of trust. One of the first things I realized early in the process was that my answer to the invitation had to be one that was trustworthy, meeting the level of trust of the complainant who invited me into this process. You may have reflections to add to these, but here are some of the questions I asked myself before I accepted the invitation. Can I commit the time and energy necessary to support the complainant even if the complaint goes to trial? Am I the right support person to walk beside the complainant? Do I have some level of power or status that might help mitigate for the power differential between the complainant and the accused. If my support becomes public, say through a trial, am I willing to stand firm in my commitment, even if it means potential loss of relationship or community for me due to my support role? Do I have any potential conflict of interest or any history that is so fresh as to be triggered by this work? In short, Am I saying yes for the right reasons? All of this went through my mind as I answered the invitation and of course, I said yes. 